In today's video, I wanna talk a little bit about using multiple looper consumers along with one looper provider to achieve complex layouts. Now, when I'm talking about complex layouts in this sense, I don't necessarily mean stylistically or structurally complex. I'm talking more in terms of the fact that if you look at a situation like I've got here in my live preview, I've got this one large hero post to the left that is styled differently from my list of posts over here in the right column. If the looper module were always combined, the provider and the consumer, I would have to essentially use two separate WordPress queries to achieve this layout. One, to pull through this single post and style it the way I need it to look. And then another query to pull through these four over here and style it the way I need those need to look. The great thing about splitting up the provider and the consumer is that we're able to use one query to access all of this data and then style it separately using multiple consumers. So let's just take a quick peek under the hood at how that's working here. If I move over here to my row and I click on it and then go up to customize, you'll see that we've got our looper provider turned on set to our recent post type here and we're pulling through five different posts. In terms of styling this setup, what I've done is I've got this column here, which I've renamed to main post. And if I go up to customize, you'll see that I've turned on its looper consumer, but I've set its items to one. So this just means that out of the five posts that we're pulling through from our looper provider, we're only gonna use one right here for us to style and output the content as we see fit. This is different from what you've seen in most of our examples so far, where predominantly we're using this all selection, which just means I'm going to use all of the items given by the provider. You'll also notice that if we wanted to, we could select this many option, which when clicked, an input will be revealed and we can specify a certain number we wanna to use to style these posts. So we could do two at a time or three, it's just a really, cool way to group different amounts of content and style them how you see fit. Because remember that every time we turn on a looper consumer, that first item in that consumer is used as a model for anything after it. Next, I've got my column to the right here, which is serving more as like a sidebar structure. It's just moving all of these headlines and links off to a blog and all these posts to the side. And then you'll see that within this column, I've got a div element here that I've turned its consumer on and I've set this one to all. And you'll notice that I'm using all and not many set to four because I've got one here and you might think that we should use many and set it to four so we get the remainder of those five. But the cool thing about using all for a situation like this where I just want the rest of my posts to be styled with a secondary style is that this will just stop at the end of whatever the provider is giving it. So for example, if I go over to my row here, where my provider is, go back to customize. If I change this number from five to six, you'll notice what happens is that my hero post stays the same. You'll still get these four posts, but then one new one will appear at the end of this list. So now we can see that we've got our hero post to the left here still, and our list to the side here has just appended one more item to the content within. Now again, we could reduce this down to four, let's say, and you'll see that we've got the main post and then the remaining three over here. So that's a really cool little trick to be aware of when you're using multiple consumers. Maybe set the first one or two to a specific style you need, and then you can set the rest to all, and it will just pull through whatever is given by that provider. So a couple key takeaways here are that every time we use a provider, we are accessing a new WordPress query on our database. So the great thing about being able to use multiple consumers like this is that we can reduce our query count and be performance conscious while still achieving unique complex layouts, just like what you're seeing here. Additionally, remember that every time we turn on a looper consumer, we're creating a new group of objects that will be styled together. So that first item in the group will serve as the model for the rest of the items in that group. And there's no amount of consumers that you'll be capped out at that you could use. For example, if we were using six posts on this item here, 
maybe we wanted to style these in groups of two. So we might have two hero posts to the side, and then maybe you wanna turn on another group of two here and style them slightly different from your final two in a last group that's used as a consumer. So there's really a lot of different ways to mix and match how you use all of these items. And it really provides so much flexibility when working to achieve more complex compositions, just like you're seeing here. Thank you.